Yes, it is. I forgot to put in the holiday music for this break. Huh. Listen to old Zach Brown instead. That's okay. As we roll along here on this uh, Monday, man, we're still buzzing over Fran Brown recruiting weekend one. You're such a beautiful joke. What's Fran going to do to keep us excited in like a month? Like when there's nothing going on. I don't know. It's still recruiting season, but it's not like he's going to have to get in the mix for some 2025 five stars. Keep us, you know, he's got to play out the intrigue. He's got to keep it going. Keep us, uh, keep us involved. Keep us interested. But right now, uh, despite all of our football talk today, it is basketball season. Usually, you know, we say, oh, is it, is it basketball season yet? And the answer is yes. And unfortunately, the answer is yes in like October. Well, now it is basketball season. We're like, all right, it is basketball season. And uh, when it is basketball season, we like to do uh, this. We like to talk to, uh, what's that? Uh, yes, the basketball players. Well, J.J. Starling is scheduled to be a, a guest on the program every week from here on out. The local guy, uh, done good. He's coming off his best game of his young uh, Syracuse career. And here is this week's conversation with J.J. Well, great to have J.J. Starling with us for the first of our uh, weekly conversations. And, uh, man, uh, it's great to talk to you coming off uh, by far your best game in a, in a Q's uniform. How, how you feeling on this Monday, J.J., after lighting it up down in D.C. on Saturday? Man, I'm feeling great. Um, like you said, that game was electric. Um, but I'm a little tired. I just got done taking an exam, so... <laughs> Uh, there we are. Yeah, we we are in the finals week here. So you guys got you know no game till next Sunday, right? I, I guess you got to buckle down on the academics here coming up for the week, huh? Yeah, I do. <laughs> All right, let, let's go back. Uh, you know, I, I want to get into your journey here as well. Well, your journey away from here and back home. But uh, let, let's start Saturday. What what went right for you? What what felt good for you on, on Saturday that maybe hadn't been there up to the level you wanted so far this year? Um, first and foremost, it was just my mindset and confidence. Um, you know, up until that game, I probably was overthinking some of the reads and, you know, just my my play, my game, uh, way more than I, I was supposed to. Um, whereas Saturday, I kind of let it come to me, um, you know, and the game just flowed better for me. Uh, and I, I relied on my shot, which I know I'm, I'm a shooter, um, you know, coming out of high school. That's what I was known as. And um, I kind of lost my confidence with that at one point. But, you know, Saturday... Uh, I took a step forward in the right direction. Yeah, and I'd say you made your first three. You ended up going three for three from the outside. You made your first one pretty early in the game. Just, to, you know, the simple act of that first one going in, did, did that kind of unlock things for you on Saturday? Oh, yeah, for sure. Because um, I first, I got an easy two, um, you know, to start the game. Uh, I think that put us, the score at like 9-9 nine, nine or 11-9 or something like that. And then, like you said, I hit a transit. Um, so, you know, I was definitely feeling it at that moment. Um, it got me going. And uh, like I said, it just allowed me to trust my shot after that. <clears throat> and then obviously you kept it rolling. You had a season high 21. Uh, Judah went off as well at, at 26. I'd imagine, JJ, like if you two guys are, are cooking like that, uh, you, you got to feel pretty tough to beat going forward this year. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I feel like a lot of fans, um, you know, they've been waiting on that moment. You know, Judah's been playing spectacular, you know. Um, and, you know, I kind of was a little slow uh, in the beginning, you know, of this season. But like I said, Saturday, um, it was a step forward in the right direction. So, you know, we're just expecting to build off that. <clears throat> What's it like with you two guys playing together? Because it, it can be interesting, right? Your games, in, in, you know, in a lot of ways are, are similar. You know, you like to attack the rim and the whole thing. What, what What's it been like trying to figure out the right chemistry with you two on the court? Oh, man, it's, it's great. Um, you know, people probably um, underestimated that, thought we were going to have some chemistry problems coming in, just given the fact that our games are so similar. But, you know, I, I would say that's contrary uh, to what's actually going on. You know, right from day one, um, we fit together pretty well. Uh, you know, we competed in practice, um, and that just allowed us to establish a, a trust, you know, uh, between one, and, uh, one another. So, um, like I said, we're just going to keep building off that, and, you know, um, we're just going to keep feeding off each other's energy. All right, I, I want to know this after the fact here, JJ. Obviously, you're, you're a local guy, as everyone knows, uh, from Beeville, so you've grown up around this program and the whole thing. Uh, that that was your first Cuse-Georgetown game to be a part of. Uh, how does that rivalry, you know, hit you as a local guy? Oh, man, yeah, uh, for sure. Uh, 
like you said, I grew up local, so I, I know, I have a sense of what the rivalry means. But, um, you know, our coach and our coaching staff did a really good job of, you know, really informing us of what it truly means and what it embodies, um, you know. So uh, going into the game, um, we had that mindset of, you know, it's going to be a physical one, a matchup, just because of, you know, the history that these two teams have between one another, um, you know. So I definitely am familiar with the rivalry and uh, that, that matchup was fiery. Yeah, it got a little heated out there. That's got to be kind of fun, though, right? You know, it, it feels a little more when you guys are going at it like that. For sure. <laughs> All right, J.J. Starling is with us. He'll be joining us uh, weekly here going forward throughout the uh, basketball season as the Orange knocked off Georgetown uh, convincingly on Saturday, 80-62, to to get to 7-3. and three. And your relationship with Red has been uh, fun to watch here, uh, J.J. You know, going back to March when, when you tossed your name in the portal coming out of Notre Dame, how, how fast was that, you know, conversation with Red and decision to come here? Um, honestly, there wasn't much conversation that needed to be had. Um, you know, I wasn't in the portal for even 24 hours. Um, I knew where yeah. I was going. Um, and uh, I think it was my birthday as well, too. So, you know, he, it was more on the side of he gave me a call, um, wished me a happy 19th birthday, um, you know. So uh, it was more uh, we already knew our relationship. There was no establishment needed to be had. Um, so, you know, I trust him. He trusts me. <laughs> Yeah, and, you know, obviously you're close with his son, Trey. Like, it, it feels more like for you, like family, I'd imagine, right, than, you know, coming to coming to play for a coach. Yeah, for sure. That's what it is. <clears throat> All right, so you were at the event at, at Destiny last uh, Wednesday um, at at the Orange Out event. And, you know, co- Coach tossed you under the bus there a little bit. He, he's, saying, he's saying you're not giving his game any respect. You, you gone back and watch any... Any red ha- highlights over the last week, JJ? You know, I actually think I need to, given the fact that <laughs> form that he had a 31 point first half. Um, that's yeah. In, a tur- in an NCAA tournament game of all, things. yeah, that's that's insane. You you got to be in a different mind mindset, you know, to be able to do that. Um, so I, I definitely got to go watch some film on him, <laughs> give a little bit of respect. <laughs> game <laughs> it's that one thing you know you said it, you're 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 19 here so you know you go back to any of your coaches careers you, you know jerry and, and griff and red certainly you're not really old enough to to actually uh remember it like, is that one thing you know growing up in the queues like you're aware of those guys but uh, how strange is it where you haven't really seen them play but you, you know what they've done here at syracuse yeah it is it is weird um because you know you have that dynamic that when you're in practice you know they're they're talking trash to you um, you know, just for fun, they're like, oh, if I was on the court, <laughs> you know, obviously you being the player that you are, you're like, oh, man, your game, da, 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 you know, just um, some friendly trash talk. But being able to, like, work with those guys and, um, you know, soak in all the knowledge, it just um, it proves what type of player they, they were, <laughs> you know. Um, so you, you got to give credit to where credit is due. Um, so. uh, are you? Are you saying Jerry's trash talking? Jerry would never trash talk anybody. JJ, he doesn't. Oh. He doesn't do that twenty four hours a day, every day of the week, right? Oh man, what? Come on, he's not trash talking. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, not not GMAC, not GMAC. Never. <laughs> uh, we got JJ with us. All right, you guys are seven and three. It's been it's been an interesting ride to this point. Like you, you had the games in Hawaii, the the two losses out there are two like legit top. 10 top 15 type teams. We know how hard it is to play at, at Virginia. Where do you guys feel you are as a team right now at this stage and your growth as a whole team? Yeah, we're, we feel that we are at a, a pretty good, you know, um, pretty good mindset right now of where we want to be. But in the grand scheme of things, we know we have a lot of work to do. Um, you know, uh, you know, like you said, we played some top teams and we got to really um, showcase what we had and learn from those as well to, you know, be a contender with those teams. Um, so uh, we just have a lot of growth to do. And, um, you know, we're, we're going to start t- tomorrow in practice, you know, and just going forward. And, you know, getting ready uh, this week, obviously no games midweek this week because of uh, uh, finals, and you said you got exams uh, going on. And then of all places, you guys are going to go play Oregon in Sioux Falls, South Dakota this upcoming uh, uh, Sunday. You ever been to South Dakota, JJ? I have, like, probably once, maybe just, like, driving through or something like that, but no. <laughs> no 
No, I was gonna say I was I was just gonna assume the answer was a, a straight no. I, I don't know why you would have would have been near there. What, what do you think this game's gonna be like? It's kind of a random one off ticket on Oregon. You you're not near any either of your campuses. What what, what do you expect uh, the atmosphere and the game to be like on Sunday? Yeah, it might be a little dry. Um, but with that being said, we gotta come in with our own energy. Um, we gotta feed off one another because we know um, that's how this game is gonna be won. Uh, Oregon is a really good team. They just beat Michigan in uh, overtime. Um, you know and. Mm-hmm. Another good team, so um, you know we're gonna we're gonna buy into to the keys and concepts that we have uh, going forward into this game. All right, JJ, good stuff. Uh, congrats again, coming off your your best game in a, a QC uniform so far. Uh, keep it going. We'll we'll chat again next week. All right. Thank you so much. Have a 